Last update 1811201017 Putrajaya, November 18 Pranama Prime Minister Datuk Seri Najib Tun Razak is highly regarded by United States President Donald Trump as a trusted partner who has accorded serious attention particularly on issues highlighted by Malaysia, according to Foreign Minister Datuk Seri Anifa Aman. Anifa said he came to this conclusion after observing the ease with which Trump engaged with Najib and the appreciation the former accorded to the Prime Minister at the recent ASEAN summit and related summits in the Philippine city of Manila. Sharing his experience of the 31st ASEAN summit and related summits with the media here, Anifa said Trump had words of praise for Najib at the ASEAN US dialogue held in conjunction with the summits. Trump gave Najib a pat on the back for what the former said was the outstanding role Malaysia played in coordinating the ASCA and U.S. dialogue, Anifa said, adding that Trump said before all the leaders present that he and Najib had been friends even before he became the U.S. president. Anifa quoted Trump as saying Prime Minister Najib is a good friend of mine, a very good friend of mine. We have known each other before I became president, when I was in the business world. In life, you will never know where you will end up. The foreign minister said Trump made the statement at the outset of the dialogue as he looked at all the ASEAN leaders present. Anifa said Trump's statement that Najib was a good friend of his was indeed an appreciation because the U.S. president was selfish with words of praise for leaders and countries. But, he Trump singled out Malaysia. He said Datuk Seri Najib is a good friend of mine. These are not words that Trump says easily, he said, adding that Trump's body language indicated that he was sincere. Anifa, who had been observing Trump closely since his campaign to become the U.S. president, said he found Trump to be direct and straightforward, in keeping with his campaign slogan Make America Great Again. He said that guided by that slogan at his maiden participation in the ASEA and U.S. dialogue, Trump stated his commitment to ASEAN interests and said he appreciated the ASEA and U.S. dialogue and sought mutually beneficial cooperation. Trump had called for free and fair trade practices to address the trade imbalance between ASEAN and the United States, he said. Anifa said Najib had the qualities that elicited in Trump the appreciation and trust for the Prime Minister, and cited one of these as the consistent stand Malaysia projected on various matters, such as the Rohingya and South China Sea issues. He also said that while Malaysia was close to China, it did not compromise on issues that involved the sovereignty of the country. Anifa said Trump would listen intently whenever Najib presented an issue. If Datuk Seri Najib doesn't impress Trump on national, regional and international issues, I don't think Trump will give much attention to him, he said. He said it must be Trump's own evaluation of Najib that it was worthwhile to have a friend in this part of the region and a friend you can trust. Anifa said it must have been the friendship developed by Najib and Trump earlier that was a factor in Najib getting invited to the White House a few months after Trump became the U.S. president. Sharing his experience in helping to arrange the meeting between Najib and Trump, Anifa said he sent a letter proposing their meeting to discuss major issues to U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson in May. There was no necessity to pay any consultant. We never engaged a consultant or paid anybody else, he said, adding that he was informed when sending the letter that the meeting between Najib and Trump would be accorded priority. The meeting between Najib and Trump at the White House took place on September 12. It is four months from May to September. If Datuk Seri Najib had not known Trump, would it have been possible to have a bilateral meeting within four months? asked Anifa. Anifa said an invitation might be extended for President Trump to visit Malaysia after the 14th general election, which is due by June 2018. Bernama